the vehicle rental business, the fleet business. Um, what can I rent on the marketplace if I don't have the credit or if I don't have the cash to buy a vehicle? And, and unfortunately, it's a very small percentage of drivers and food delivery drivers that can just walk in, put, you know, put down a two or five thousand dollar deposit with good credit and drive out with a Sienna or a Corolla or a Suburban or a Cadillac, right? If they want to get into this business. And again, um, I, I want to, I want to emphasize, don't go out there and buy an expensive brand new car. If you just intend on doing Uber and Lyft, if you want to drive in the upper echelon, right? Um, make sure you're on Uber Lyft and you have started your LLC and you've started your own company and you're recruiting private drivers. Now, if you may have seen this ad running around, uh, rent premium vehicles uh, on the vehicle marketplace, right? And then you can check it out. Uber's vehicle marketplace offers vehicles eligible to give comfort and comfort electric trips. Uh, what they are primarily moving or, or marketing to you right now, uh, only EV vehicles, right? Teslas, Ford, uh, Mustang, Mach E, Mach E, whatever you want to call it. Um, the numbers are a little bit misleading here, uh, where it says $289 a week, excluding taxes and fees. Prices may vary by market. Um, another thing that they don't really tell you is like at the bottom, small print, weekly lease with flexible mileage plans. Packages range from 500 miles per week to unlimited. So there's a big difference if you're renting a vehicle and they're throttling you on the mileage, you exceed the 500, they're charging these extra fees off. That price is very, very different on that platform for a Ford Mustang if you're doing unlimited miles. Now, the sheet that I have behind me, you might say like, oh, what on earth is going on here, right? I mean, these are New York rates. But if you want to go out and rent, for example, a Sienna, right? And you're talking like a 2018 Sienna, which probably has some heavy, heavy miles and is pretty chewed up. Maybe the seats or the carpets are not like what they used to be at $660 a week. Wow, $660 a week. Or if you want to get a Toyota Camry 2022, $610 per week. Toyota Highlander, 2016. That's an old chewed up vehicle, $500 a week. Now, I, I understand that there are all these additional fees in New York. And New York has, I mean, the operators honestly have the highest prices out there for their weekly rentals. Um, what I have been doing here for more than 12 years in California has really varied. In the beginning, I started off with five cars. I even I remember even investing into five Nissan Leafs, which was just complete junk because they couldn't get more than 170 mile uh, range. It was just, I mean, I got, I got them dirt, dirt, dirt cheap, right? I think I got five of them at the auction for 20 grand. But the complaints came rolling in. Um, I, I just, it doesn't have enough mileage. 160, 170 miles on a Nissan Leaf. Not a great car as I found out in the very early beginning. I was like, oh, I'm going to get five cars for 20 grand. What was a shitty investment. I offloaded them and sold them quickly. But what I can tell you is that this business and, it, and throughout the years at the peak, at the very peak, I was at 58 SUVs. I found out that SUVs and these uh, minivans, whether it's Odyssey or Sienna, gave me the best returns. I started Mickey Mousing around with Priuses and that at $250 a week. It was just too, too much work compared to being an operator having Suburbans or Cadillacs or minivans. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share quite a bit of information with you because this all is packaged up in the course, in the fleet course. If you want to learn how to become a fleet 
operator, if you want to learn how to register with Uber Fleet, probably the best product that Uber has is the Uber Fleet program. How to stack your cars, how to find the drivers, how to make real, real money, right? And I'm definitely not as as greedy as these New York operators. My 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 pricing is pretty much five fifty to six fifty a week for the big big cars. Now during the pandemic. Just to keep the drivers on board, I literally had to come down just under 400 per week for, for Suburbans, just to keep the business afloat. And at that time, sold a shitload of cars, just unloaded, unloaded, unloaded. Now, because it was the pandemic, I was getting peak, peak dollars for a used vehicle, which was great. I was making more money than I bought them for. So I didn't lose. But, you know, upsizing, downsizing, it's all... It's all the it's all about the numbers, right? And and the trends and what's going on in the marketplace. You know, are they switching out platforms? Are they reducing the the age of the cars? Are they are they are they kicking out specific cars off the platform? Are they eliminating platforms entirely? For example, Lux. Uh, so you constantly, constantly adjusting as an operator, as a fleet operator. But my course, the link is below put it right underneath, explains how to make a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen, right? Right now, I am down to about 39, 40 vehicles. I'm probably going to offload another one. Call it 40 vehicles, so that's $24,000 gross per week. Per week, not per month, per week, right? Do the quick math. 40 times 600 bucks. That's 24 grand gross a week. Now, from that gross, yeah, there's a lot of deductions, right? Um, lots of tire changes, lots of oil changes, lots of maintenance, transmissions, all the fees, the transport charter permits, everything that goes into that, right? Uh, managing these vehicles. If you have downtime because something's wrong, you cannot charge that same weekly fee, right? You have to adjust it. And keeping the right type of drivers, highly rated drivers with a lot of experience is, um, is something that I learned over the years. And it only works, listen up here, it only works if that driver that you are renting that Camry or that Sienna to, right? Let's, let's take the Sienna, for example, down here, uh, the 2018 for 660 <laughs> crazy price. I'll probably rent that card for $450. Um, it only works if the driver is on the Uber platform, on the Lyft platform, and is being taught how to recruit his or her own clients, meaning building out their own private clientele. Basically, you're in three different ones, right? Uber, Lyft, your own private clients. Now, the course also explains, that's why it's always important for a fleet owner, not only do you learn how to operate the fleet, right? Like become an enterprise, become an Avis, you know, become like a company like this, right? Where they say vehicle marketplace. These people are making a lot of money. They are like the enterprises, Hertz and that of the world. But being an operator, where you're tailoring just these cars to the gig economy, to, to gig drivers, right? Avis Hertz, they'll, they'll, they'll rent it to anyone, to the basic consumer coming in on a flight, right? To the gig driver. They have a lot of programs. This program that I'm teaching you is just uh, acquiring vehicles at the right price, setting it up the right way, setting up the contracts the right way, pricing it the right way, finding the right drivers um, that then go on all three platforms. And in that course, you are also learning how to become a private driver. So not only are you a fleet operator, but you also get to learn, okay, if I'm leasing out these vehicles per week, right? And, and you never set up annual or six month or two month contracts, right? Um, you start off on weekly if the people don't cut it next, right? Out. You, you could, can't commit to a one or two or three month rental. No, it's week by week. It's the same thing. It's the same thing with these enterprises. They, they, they don't set up six month rentals for you unless you have a long, long commercial track record, right? But the, 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 the trick here 
is once you have your vehicles under the Uber fleet program, you have so many different management tools on the fleet side. And now because you have learned how to operate as a private driver, you can also install those techniques, that learning, that know-how into your individual drivers and they'll be with you forever. It's a phenomenal business. You show me a business that makes 100K gross per month, right? Um, where Uber will send over the weekly earnings on a Monday to your LLC. On a Tuesday, you are paying out your drivers. You have a lot of control, right? They want to come and pick up their pay. You are monitoring their driving habits through the Uber fleet program. Where are they? You can see them on the grid in the managerial uh, back end system of the Uber fleet. Where is this driver? Oh, he's up here. Oh, is, is he with a client or not a client, right? You can check it all out live on the grid. Now, if a car sort of zooms off and heads off to Nevada, Vegas, and just goes, goes for a fun weekend without telling you, well, as soon as that car is returned, that driver is chopped, right? Because in your contract, it specifically says it's for these purposes only. This is not a leisure vehicle, right? This is not a where you take the, uh, your, your, your family to Vegas for the weekend. No, this is for gig, for ride share or food delivery purposes only, period. No excuses. So you have to be tough. You have to really manage tough. But I explain it to you, everything. I explain everything to you in the fleet course. Now, where do you really make margins? And let me just start off by saying, if you know how to buy a car, but not necessarily finance a car, but buy a car. Um, you can start small. You, I mean, you can s literally start off with a Prius for a few th thousand dollars that you get um, on on an auction, like on a Mannheim auction. My buyer um, at auctions buys from Texas, Florida, uh, Arizona. Doesn't mean that California offers the best prices. Most of the best car prices come from Texas or Florida. And then you just ship the car in for a small fee. But knowing how to buy cars at the right price, you really have a massive advantage versus oh, walking in and financing a commercial vehicle. And by the way, it always has to be financed commercially. You cannot register this at the DMV as a regular vehicle and, 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 and get it as a regular insurance. No, it has to all be commercial registration at the DMV and it has to be commercial insurance. FYI, never ever go out there and, and uh, try and jump over that most important step, right? It's always remember commercial, 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 commercial insurance, commercial registra registration at the DMV. A lot of people walk in and finance a vehicle and, uh, and, 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 and the dealership might offer commercial financing, right? And, and they have a commercial fleet department. If you bypass that you're setting up for yourself for the biggest disaster because you're not going to qualify on these fleet programs. You're going to run into a lot of problems. You're not going to have your driver uh, be able to use that as a private driver, as a private chauffeur. You need the right licenses attached to these vehicles to maximize your profits, to also not, not only maximize your profits, but also to minimize your headaches, right? You don't want to constantly advertise, look and look and look and look for new drivers. You want drivers that are happy. They're driving on Uber. They're driving on Lyft. That's their bread and butter. If they're getting private clients, that's all just extra gravy on top. And they'll stay with you forever. Again, this is not for people that have excellent credit and have thousands of dollars stashed away that can go out. They buy a car, boom, at an auction or finance it commercially at the right rate. This is really if you want to start off and you have, I don't know, if you have 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars saved up, great. The fleet program is ideal for you. If you only have three, four, five thousand dollars saved up and you want to go and get that first Prius, put it on the fleet program, get the right driver signed to your Prius, and also list that car on hire, car, tour, or everywhere else so that you know, just like a, a, a home rental or, or a vacation rental. I'm on VRBO, I'm on Airbnb, I'm on bedandbreakfast.com. You want to be on a couple of platforms so you can constantly have tenants, constantly have drivers. I teach you everything in the program. So check it out. Um, 
everyone that I have signed up in this fleet course worldwide. This is not just about LA. This is about Houston. This is about Miami. This is about New York. This is about Toronto. This is about Paris. Everyone that the top guy that started with my course with no cars is now 250 vehicles. Killing it. Killing it. And I've made an absolute fortune in this as well. And I thank my mentors who are my friends that taught me the ins and outs. I also have JVs, joint ventures in other cities with other operators operating cars together. But the bulk of my vehicles in LA made a shitload of money through this. And it's a crazy return on investment, right? I mean, have apartment rental properties that will never achieve the ROI as these uh, vehicles. If you know this business, you make a lot of money. That's really uh, the fun part. And, and also for me, the fun part is taking that knowledge, okay? All those years of knowledge and saying, okay, how can I pass it on? The pizza is so big, the big, the pizza pie. This is, this is not a market that I'll control on my own. There are tons of operators. There are millions of people moving, right? There is enough business for everyone. Don't be shy to start a fleet today in Houston. Don't be shy to start your small little fleet in Salt Lake City. Don't be shy to start your little fleet in Orlando, right? Get going, right? Become, become an entrepreneur, uh, start your own business, get your LLC going higher, get, get the right vehicles, buy the right vehicles at the right place. You'll learn everything. You'll learn everything in the fleet program and in the private driver chauffeur program. I've sold this probably 3,500 times around the globe. No complaints, no refunds on this one. Uh, people are happy because they're making money or it's opening up their mind minds to other possibilities. Thank you, everyone. Uh, God bless you all. Um, check it out. Um, we explain the rates, how to set the rates, how to recruit the drivers, how to buy the cars. Everything is in that course. Take care.